What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and... Well... We back with another... We... we screw face with spot... Bro... This has definitely turned into a Kendrick... Drake... Rap beef on the YouTube side and such, cause Schoolface John responded back with what would King Von do, Family Matters, Freestyle. Bro. This shit has been going on for the better part of two days now. Two or three days now. Like, golly. These 24 hours type of I guarantee you, they must be. It's crazy that these niggas ain't draining out with these types of re responses and such. Cause I would never understand the whole thing about. First of all, what my what my hat at? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna get this hat in. Second, like I was saying, I would never understand the whole thing about you got 24 hours till you respond. Cause I guarantee you. No one, I guarantee you, all the different types of diss tracks over the years for rap to, between two rappers have never been under no 24 hours. I guarantee you that. But these two are going too crazy, and the fact that they got so many tea off of this shit. But then again, it is YouTube, right? It is two YouTube reactors and such. So, hey, it's crazy, but. Let's see what responses Screw has and see how he rebuttals the one from Knox Hills like what was it the freaking Sean John one so let's check this out <laughs> and the fact that he got King he gonna do one over King Vaughn and shit crazy but we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this Hold on. You a you a contradicted coward that's just sour. You ain't right. Is my family full of felons or am I not about that life? I caught him in the lie. Swear to God, some I can help you right. Tell him we ain't do that song because of all them Twitter slides. I told him leave alone. He dissed sneaky though. And yeah, I peeped the bro. Now you niggas work in the community. No TV show. I can tell you ain't really got shit by the receipt you show. Really tried to say I fuck my man. Girl, that's evil, bro. I hope it ain't the person that I'm thinking because you need to know that I could prove that I was with that girl before she speak to bro. I ain't make them videos private because we beef a hoe probably didn't notice they was private when you leaked them though but now i know you panic trying to hack my private videos and lying about a fucking leak like that's some shit we didn't know now i fool a fucking fan now you ain't honest hoe never fool out nothing in my life but yeah you got it bro can't rap to him cap to him they ain't gotta know but understand there's evidence to prove it and i got it bro ain't no way he's doing so he basically copying off a of knox hill when when he came a cappella with it at first him, cap to him. They ain't gotta know, but understand this evidence to prove it, and I got it, bro. If your next shit is based on that shit, you bout to choke. Talking about my seed, fuck nigga, now we gotta go. What about your kids? Hope nothing's in your closet, bro. You start talking families, make sure you got a nicer home. But school, you was the one who literally started it off first. You started it off saying that you're gonna pop up in his home, so I'm sorry, right? Right then and there, even though he. Even though in Sean John he was saying about the kids and whatnot, you was the one who started it off first saying about how you gonna pop up in his home and with the ad lib, you, he literally did a little picture there where and in the ad lib you literally say, "I really kill you," like of course he, of course it's not like and plus he didn't never say nothing about your. Even though he said something about your kid, it's not like he was trying to. He was really saying, "I know you got to feed, I know you got a kid, and you got to feed a kid, right?" Totally respectable on his part, right there. But you was the one who threatened him first with saying that you want to pop up in his home when you saying you're trying to kill him. So right then and there, I don't know about that. Next shit is based on that shit you bout to choke Talking about my seed, fuck nigga, now we gotta go What about your kids? Hope nothing's in your closet, bro You start talking families, make sure you got a nicer home. home Make sure you love your wife at home Make sure that you don't fight at home You opened up your dick sucking mm -hmm. dick You don't feel slightly gross? Freaky ass boy, how you dissing while you slobbing, bro? Mom and dad gon' know and Parker gon' be like That's, That's not my bro. bro He like, when I fake my reactions, it's in the title, bro But people feel you fake all your reactions Check your comments, ho And reacted to Eminem rapping, not the problem, bro But dissing someone cause you want his pull makes you an odd 
hardest hoe. Why your flow sound like spoken word? That shit is awful, bro. Another nigga dissed me, said I don't got music with my bro. He was wrong, but you was extra wrong. I guess y'all sharing notes. Said a blind man, not blind, nah, not even, bro. You said a Nigerian ain't Nigerian. We even ho. Now you even trying to take my culture. What a demon. Yo, now you're a but now I was some Ebo if you need to know. Yeah, I took a break from white rappers. You know the reason, though? For a little second, I noticed that's all I seen the show. And I ain't want my page to look like yours. I took a real approach as I thought it was wrong to not give room to let my people flow. Okay, I, I guess that was a good rebuttal. I guess that one right there cuz he was saying about how Drew because I mean he's mostly and I get it like so but how many black rappers has school reacted to? Well, he has. I'm not saying he hasn't, but he has. But majority of the time, it's not a lot of them. I'm just saying. It, and it be the particular ones that it fall in lines with you. And really think about it. You really be quoting a lot of rappers that you grew up listening to. A lot of black rappers that you grew up listening to at school. Which is cool and all, but if you say let your people and all. Then I'm just saying, at least your channel should be majority of it being black and such, right? And I get it, like he's saying he wanted to take a break from all the white rappers and all, but look, at the end of the day, fire if fire fire music is fire music, no matter who the rapper is, no matter what color of the skin the rapper is or what ethnicity and whatnot. Hey. If it's if white rappers are so, if I got white rappers who are fire and they does good for my channel, I'll keep reacting to it. It don't have nothing to do with my skin. It don't have nothing to do with their skin color. If I feel, if I see that black rappers that are fire and it's doing my channel well, I'll react to some. I will make sure I react to black rappers. Either way, if fire and hell, even in mix between. If fire music is fire music, no matter what the color or skin is, so that's how I look at it. But hey, to each his own. Cause you know the reason though, for a little second I noticed that's all I seen the show And I didn't want my page to look like yours, I took a real approach as I thought it was wrong to not give room to let my people flow. Huh, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You j like I said, you're gonna bring a f look. Like I said, he brought the f he screw you was the first initial person to brought about family and such. That's how I look at it. Cuz, so you can't blame him. And even, and like he said, he was only and he was trying to be, and even in when he was saying about the kid and such. It was in no type of way disrespectful to me. That's how I look at it. Because when he was saying about, I know you got to feed your kid and all that and such, right? Even though he was responding to that, he was never saying in no disrespectful way, in a way. Maybe without, maybe without, I would have to go listen back to it and know to see if there was anything bad about he said about your kid. But I'm pretty sure in my first initial reaction, I'm pretty sure he didn't say nothing bad about your kid. Pretty sure of that. Drop you playing politics, got the chrome, break a happy home, hope y'all don't never split. Oh shit, guess everybody leak it. Hope he got the kids, he drop it fast, but he dropping trash, don't put no sauce on it. What's the point of fucking drop it quick if you keep dropping shit? I got it, dude. It's all logical. He went to private school, get rapper listen, then he captain image, cause he's not as cool. You keep talking Nigga. You saying about so just because if he went to a So what if he did went to a private school? You thinking that oh come on now. Come on now, screw. You know, there's a lot of other black kids too who goes to private schools and sometimes they ask be capping an image. I guarantee you that. Shit, I got it, dude. It's illogical. He went to private school. Get rapper listen. Then he capped an image because he's not as cool. You keep talking about Nebraska, boy, but you should stop it, dude. Got some calls from Momo. I promise you that's not the move. Chris, you thought you had some jock in you. Became a soccer dude. Had some boo-boos. Fucking wow, wow, goo-boo. Probably flopped a few. Look for something easier than 
to do And then you stop to do Why your passion didn't overcome it You a softy dude They don't get it yet Okay, well fuck it then Let's walk him through Started rapping Now his hair is blonde Okay, we gotta do Gotta get your culture somewhere I ain't knocking you But talk about my son again I'm asking what King Von would do You reached out in 2019 And then you dropped the loot Not Oh, he got receipts, receipts Cost of a feature Oh, so he did, he was saying about One of us had to pay a feature only one of us had to pay a feature and so so Knox you pay for a feature back in 2019 hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up run it back To you. Why you keep on bringing shady records? Do they sponsor you? Is that why you blazing? Did you sell out like a prostitute? Why you keep on kicking fucking lies? But bro, we got the proof. We don't care if you apologize. How they ain't mopping you? I respect it if you said it before they was mopping you. I respect it if you said it before they was washing you. You super freak on this is you and me. Did it to got it too? Yes. Oh, right there, daddy. I mean, daughter. What's he doing with his mouth? Let nature take its course, kids. Okay, don't don't look at oh, that. That's crap. Copyright bar, you said to me, did it to dot it too. First you copy M, then copy Nate. Okay, you got it, dude. But you such a copycat, you fuck around and copy you. Yeah, this hip hop music for the people that them got abuse. Matter of fact, let's talk abuse. What about alcohol abuse? Did you have some fucking Jaeger bombs, a couple shops in you? Got up in that car, your boys and girls. No, no, this not the move. Talking about me taking care of kids like you responsible. You know if they take away your license, they gon' walk. They had the cops on you You get crashing out a new name I'm glad they stopping you You piece of shit If all you wanted shot You could've called us Left them on a Cody road They got me mm. cooking stardust like a You know I'm gonna appreciate A good wrestling bar Hold up And that's cra crazy Hold up You know I'm You know with me Anytime I hear a good wrestling bar You know I gotta show love to that But hold up What'd you say? Shot you could've called us Left, Left them, them on, on a Cody, Cody road they got you cooking stardust, mm, cause Cody Rhodes was stardust before, before he left W, before, well, he eventually got fired from WWE, I don't remember, was it fired, or he just left, either way, he left WWE, and then six years later, he came back in 2022, so yeah. so crazy that because of and it's you know what's so crazy is because of when the Beastie Boys first started rapping out nobody has ever said nothing about the Beastie Boys they were white nobody was clowning on them right when hip-hop was getting started this is just my initial thoughts right this is just my everything that I say in searching these reactions I don't want nobody saying about oh how comes you never know that mother person I've always told y'all Born in Jamaica, born and raised in Jamaica. So before anybody tried putting clips of me out there saying about how, oh, he, I was born and raised in Jamaica, right? Not all the time we were out in my childhood there. All the t not all the time we were listening to hip hop. Straight up only Jamaican music. Not to say there wasn't no hip hop involved there, but throughout my entire childhood and such, to when I came up to the to the states. Mostly Jamaican music, mostly straight up dance hall music and all that. And till when I came up to the States, right? I don't know I'm taking away from the video, but let me just say this for my record. 
because he said about the Eminem cosplay. Not all the time I didn't know about a lot of hip hop music. I know about certain few artists and such, but not a lot of them. So I came hip to Eminem. I've always heard his name and I've always heard his music and such. But I was never like in depth in depth with his music, right? Till later on in the years, I've come to love his music. No matter if, because I know people are going to claim about how, oh, we want the old Eminem. This new Eminem doesn't have that. Uh, uh, motherfucker. People need to realize, y'all do remember that when he made all those music that y'all used to love, the old Eminem, he himself has said in almost all of the songs, not saying all, well, majority of the songs and such, he was on like alcohol, the pills, and all that. So most of them fire ones that, and I'm not saying they weren't fire, but majority of them, he was on like pills and for vodka and alcohol and such so you need to tell me in order for him to in order for some of y'all to like his music again y'all want him to go back to the old him where he was on all that shit that is crazy and you don't want to appreciate this some of his new music that he has over the years hey that just says a whole lot about some of y'all fans out there just saying. But yeah, back to what I was trying to say. Phone. Hold on. There we go. Back to what I was saying about now the Beastie Boys. There was the first white rapping group, right? For me. That's just this is just my knowledge. Y'all can let me know in the comments. They were the first white rapper group, right? Was there and to you can correct me in the comments below, right? There was the first white rapping group, right? Cool. Why wasn't nobody arguing with them? Hmm? If there was, let me know. But if there wasn't, why was nobody aiming at them? But ever since, but when Eminem came into the game, right? When Eminem came into the game, nobody, everybody all of a sudden, still to this day, Especially with this, still to this day, people are having problems with it. If y'all never had a problem with Beast, the Beastie Boys coming out and such, I could be ignorant and you could say, oh, you don't know the culture. That I could be that. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong if you educate me, right? But if nobody had a problem with the Beastie Boys when they came into the rap game, even if they were for a short period of time or a long period of time, no diddy. But if they were in here for a long game, why all of a sudden all when Eminem came in and such, it was a problem? Because I mean, hell. Drake? I mean, hell, even when he first started. I, and it's like this. With hip-hop, I've always heard about how I get it. It's a culture. It's about, and it was started from black people. Totally get that. Also, y'all gotta do remember it was some Jamaican, because y'all gotta remember from DJ Cool Herc, he was Jamaican and he moved to the States. So, you gotta remember it was Jamaicans who started it. That's what I'm saying as a Jamaican myself. Hey, it was because of a Jamaican who started this hip hop shit. But, regardless. But, either way, throughout the entire years of Eminem's career, right? Why was every black rapper out there who hated Eminem always wanted to say about how, oh, and then as soon as when Eminem was this big thing and such, right? Everybody's saying that if you, and now all of a sudden with the YouTube rap and such, if you was a white, if you're a white rapper, oh, everybody gonna say about how whenever you're a white rapper, you copying off for Eminem. It's like a, cause they have the same type of rap schemes, lyrical ability like an Eminem. But for all the black rappers out there and such, you need to tell me that some of y'all don't copy off Eminem too. I'm just saying, right? You need to tell me some of you black rappers out there for YouTube and such, 
hell, I even sent it to school intentionally too. You need to tell me y'all have never copied off of a, y'all never did, y'all wasn't inspired by certain styles of like Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, uh, Tupac, Biggie, who else? Uh, 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 freaking Busta Rhymes and such. You wasn't copying off of them too? Some of your favorite black rappers out there. Your mainstream black rappers. Some of your favorite ones out there. The legends and such. Nas and such, right? You need to tell me y'all wasn't trying to copy off your little style off of them too? I'm just saying. Black thought and all that. I'm just saying. So, I don't know why y'all... I don't know why when it's a white rapper, people are saying you'd be an Eminem-esque. But when it's the other black rappers... When other YouTube, when other black YouTube rappers are doing the exact same thing. That's just me. That's just my opinion. And hey, if you're going to fault me for my opinion, oh well, too bad. Guess what? If you're going to want to insult me, what does, you can insult me all you want. That still don't change my mind. So it is what it is. You can educate me all you want. And hell, if you come with respect, I'll listen to you. But if you're just going to straight up saying about how oh you ignorant you did see this then at that point why bother arguing with you but that being said it is what i would never understand why oh because of eminem you cosplaying but when it's other black rappers y'all don't be trying to cosplay them too i mean hell so many times y'all even quote their lyrics quote other black per black rappers Legendary ones you quote some of their lyrics in your songs, too. So that's how I look at it. But back to this The worst type of YouTube rapper you the reason that they think we all do this whole time that I was battling Luke gone again No, you not to do I guess Eminem cosplays just started to be a whole shot or two A nigga said that he got me on no job, but he was lying too. They ain't never even talked to you They said you one DM you ain't responding to so That's from No Life Shack Cuz he was saying about how Y'all see that he got this, oh, like, he got on uh, no jumper and such. <laughs> so, yeah. Jumper buddy was lying too. They ain't never even talked to you. They said you one DM you ain't responded to. Still think that I'm lying. Okay, fuck it then. Let me jump the proof. Say he got. Well, damn. Hold up. Hey, screw. Would you like to get in touch for an interview? Whenever you come to LA, let me know. <laughs> Sensor. <laughs> No life Shaq. Hey Shaq, would you like to get Hold on, hold on, hold on. DM you responded to. Still think that I'm lying. Okay, fuck it then. Let me jump the proof. They hit us up on the same day. I responded. He didn't stop the cap. I mean Hold on, hold on. Oh, so school did respond it. And no life Shaq didn't. He did the Okay Shaq, he responded. What you gotta say about that Shaq? Cause he got receipts on your ass for that one. Which is crazy. But how did he even get that though? DM you responded to. Still think that I'm lying. Okay, fuck it then. Let me jump the proof. Say he got me some spots too, but how to contact me if I ain't contact you? And that was like in November, but for years I've been getting sponsored views. Don't chop that fable. Tell me the label that you done shot me to. I'm used to these niggas lying on me. I just hope your fans keep you honest, dude. You start to show that you're not the brother you claim to be when you wanted to. I hope the shows with their biases, how they lying shit, cause they don't rock the stool. Overhype any nigga that's going to me. That shit is awkward too. I wonder why they ain't do the same for some mind. Well, I think I got a clue. One day he gonna look back at how we moving now with that kind of puke. This nigga was talking about my son. Battle King Von do. This pussy boy gonna have to run me my one. I think he was talking. For look, for all the other parts he's talking on and such, I'm just giving my perspective on it. I'm just saying my opinion on it. But for the son part, he was not talking bad on your son. Not once did he was. To, look, maybe I'm, maybe I, cause let's be honest, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, 9 times out of 10 in certain reactions, especially if I'm vibing out to the song and such, I be blacked out. 
not really paint at the certain moments of it I'll be blacking out <laughs> I'm not lying to y'all on as God is my witness I'll be blacking out most of the times in the reaction and I'll just vibe out to the song of how it is and I'll catch a bar and such but as soon as when it's like certain important parts I black the hell out not saying black out as in and such but blacked out as in just vibing out to the song because it's fire right so maybe in that particular because I but I did remember him I did remember not saying a certain part in the song about us about his son but I don't think it was like bad or anything but I would probably have to listen back to it Nigga was talking about my son. Bo King Von do. This pussy boy gon' have to run me my one. Bo King Von do. This fuck boy was talking about my mom. Bo King Von do. He lie on me on every single song. Bo King Von do. And I don't even fuck with drill like that. Bo King Von do. But you push me to a whole nother level. Bo King Von do. And fuck boy stop lying. Bo King Von do. You want this shit to be Kendrick Chris Drake? It has so been. Bo King Von do. You forcing angles that ain't even real. And you getting this proven every time. Niggas just accept it. Stop rapping like a fucking malfunctioning <laughs> computer, bro. Work on your flow. And to bruh, bruh. Why you blatantly lie about no jumper, gang? If you got me some sponsors, I just need to see the paper. Because the verdict is out on that, too. You was on your shit talking like you made me, gang. Shaq, that's you. You want to your audience for that? And I get it, you trying to passive aggressively get back at me while maintaining your I'm everybody's buddy brand. But I promise you I wouldn't have to keep getting at you. If you think you're doing weird shit, I promise I'll be wanting to like you, black man. That's Shaq he's talking to. But, but you just be making that shit impossible sometimes, man. <laughs> Was coming with receipts, 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 and such. So, nope, that's it. I mean, all I can say is with school, he wasn't going down without a fight. So, hey. He came back swinging. That's all I can know. But yeah, for more look, if you disagree disagree with me in anything I was saying in the video, comment down below, and especially that one comment, commenter and such. Disanaged, I don't know, but I know he probably gonna see my video. I know that probably gonna see he's that person gonna probably see that see this video. But either way. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video down in the comments below. <laughs> and I guarantee you, probably when I'm done edit when I'm done editing or exporting this video out, this nigga Knox Hill gonna respond so quick. He probably will, I guarantee you. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. See you in the next video, cause I'm pretty sure. Knox is going to respond. I'm out.